My name is Ezekiel from Annex Suspension and today we're talking about stroke and how unlike some manufacturers, we take the extra time to consider OEM stroke length in determining the appropriate amount of stroke in our coilover systems. Our current R&D customer is this 2006 Subaru WRX wagon. And yes, at the time of filming this video, we are actively doing R&D on this Subaru. While measuring the unsprung weight on the rear of this WRX, it came to our attention that the rear shock length in the stroke was unusually long as compared to what we normally see on a WRX sedan or STI. This amount of stroke was abnormal for even what we normally see. Stroke is the total distance the shock travels from fully extended to fully compressed. So why is this important? I've personally experienced many aftermarket coilover kits that use a generic shock body length and end up reducing my overall suspension travel and in turn hinders the performance of the vehicle. Without the proper stroke length, you may actually bottom out the suspension and hurt both the car's ability to absorb rough terrain and your ability to control the car. The car may feel stiffer, but in actuality, you may be reducing the overall performance. Determining the amount of stroke based on physical appearance can also be deceiving. Some cars like the Honda S2000 have a high motion ratio, or in other words, the wheel moves a greater distance relative to the shock absorber. Our S2000 coilovers look like they would have very little travel, but in actuality, it's quite a lot. If you want to see us make a video on motion ratio, let us know below in the comments. OEMs design their vehicle suspension with a certain shock body length and stroke in mind. Annex Suspension takes this into account for all of our coilover applications. We measure and consider factors such as the factory stroke, sprung and unsprung weight, as well as suspension configuration in order to determine the ideal shock body length. For every coilover application, we measure the full range of suspension travel from full compression to full droop. Don't settle for a coilover system that compromises your suspension travel. That's it for our video on shock stroke length on this 2006 WRX wagon. Thank you guys for watching. Check out our website for more Subaru coilover applications and check out our social media channels in the description. I'd love to hear your coilover horror stories, so make sure to leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching and look forward to more videos from Annex Suspension.